Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and this is number 29 of my powerful tools of Affinity Photo. Today we're going to discuss the difference between Protect Alpha and Clipping Mask and when you should use one or the other. I'm going to show this on the desktop and the iPad, but before I get started, please click that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it and it helps my channel. Thanks so much. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to draw a circle and I'll hold my shift key and I'm going to actually I'll make it bigger so you could see it. And then I'm going to duplicate that circle control or command J and I'm going to move it here. So that's the basis of where we're going to get started. So I want to use the same color as the ball, but a little bit darker. And this is the color of the ball. So we know the ball is that light color that's up here. I'm going to bring it maybe down to here and see if that works. And with my paintbrush, with my right back to my paintbrush, I'm going to just swish across here. And without Protect Alpha, the, the blue is up here. Like if I keep doing this, you can see the blue is on the outside. And I don't want that. So I'm going to rasterize both these layers. I should have rasterized it before I duplicated it, but that's okay. So now I'll take the first one, I'll go to the paintbrush, and I'll make sure my light, my color is darker than the blue. The blue is up here, so I'm going to go darker maybe there. And with that color, I am going to go like this. Now that it's Protect Alpha, you see what happens? So I can keep going and I could shade that. And then the next thing I can do is I want to get a lighter color for the top. So I'm going to go really light into this whitish color. As long as I have Protect Alpha on and it's still on, I'll make it a little bit smaller and maybe paint up here. And that looks pretty good. Now the thing with Protect Alpha is it's all on one layer. It's destructive, and if you decide you want to, say, lower the opacity of what you've done, you can't really. You're just lowering the whole ball's original color opacity, and that's not really great. So that's just a simple way of doing it. And here's the reason for doing this. If your processor doesn't have a lot of memory, and it's starting to run high and whatever, this is on one layer, and it doesn't take much processing power. So now we're going to do clip mask. So we'll go here. Instead, we're going to do it differently. So now we're going to do a new layer. And we're going to do this. And we're going to paint just like we did before. And make sure it doesn't say Protect Alpha. It's on its own layer. And I'm just going to do the same thing. But if you move this down and across, it's in its own clipping mask. That's a clipping mask. This is not a clipping mask. So we can do exactly the same thing as we did before. And if we add another layer on top of that, or we could use the same layer, actually. I'm just going to use, no, I'll, I'll add another one. And it stays in the clipping mask. So I can now do the lighter color and go back to the paintbrush. It's not on Preserve Alpha. And say I'm going to do that. What makes this special is the fact that I can take each one of these, I can lower or raise the opacity, I could do a Gaussian blur on each one if I want to, like here I can do an effects uh, Gaussian blur and make it a little softer. And it's not destructive at all. This is clipping mask and this is without clipping mask. So next I'm going to show you the same thing in iPad. So here we are in the iPad, same thing as before. I have two circles. In fact, the really nice thing about this is you can take the desktop file and move it into the iPad and back and forth. So they work the same. So that's what I did. I just copied the other file with the two balls and I moved them here. So once again, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go now to my brushes, which is right here. and I'm going to start on this one like we did before. So brush, and here's the brush information on the bottom. And I, I did a soft brush just like before. And if you do brushes, again, first here's without Protect Alpha. First I'm going to go darker, a little bit darker. And here's right on the bottom, 
is protect alpha down here so I can turn that on or off if there's a ring it's on if there's no blue ring it's off so with it with it off I'm going across here which is not what we want so we will undo that on the iPad I just tap with two fingers to undo so I'm going to do protect alpha on and I'm going to make my brush very wide I'm just sliding across here and I'll do like I did before I'm just going to go like that and then I can turn the color really brighter and then I'll do once again let me see my brush size I'll make it a little bit smaller and I'll just do a little bit up there and then I'll go to my layers and if you don't know where your layers are there's a question mark on the bottom and it tells you everything okay you can see layer studios the second from the top so I'm gonna click that and you'll see that I painted on one layer and once again you can change the opacity and do that by going to up here but everything changes the whole ball opacity goes away so now we're going to do it the other way let's go to this one this one we're going to use a clip alpha and don't forget I changed these to pixels and no more images you need to be a pixel to do any of this so I'll do it two ways this time the first way and I could do this could do this on the desktop too the first way is just to create a new layer that's the plus sign up here and I'm going to put a new pixel layer and on that pixel layer I will paint the same thing as before I'll go to the brushes this time I'll turn off protect alpha and what I'll do is I need to pick a color and I want to do the darker blue again maybe to here and then we go back to the brushes and now it's not protect alpha I'm just gonna paint just like we did before it's a little darker than the other one but it's okay and now I'll take that layer and I will move that layer down and across and it will be inside it's a clipping mask and because it's a clipping mask I can now go up here and change the opacity I can also Gaussian blur it if I don't want to change the opacity I can go to effects Gaussian blur and then if I press down on Gaussian blur my bottom on the bottom it shows you different information so I can just slide You see how I, nice and gentle I could do that so that looks great so now I'm going to go back to the layers and then I can add a new layer and that's right here new pixel layer and since it's right on top of that it's still inside the ball so now I can go back to my brushes and pick a lighter color like this and do the same thing go back to brushes again and it's not remember protect alpha is not on I might whoops I might change the size of my brush to maybe here and I'll just do a dot like that maybe a little bit more I don't, doesn't really matter and because I can blur it once again effects Gaussian blur if I press down on Gaussian blur and then slide see how nice that is and then I could change the opacity and the nice part about it is you, you have control but the bad part about it is it takes up more layers and on iPad some of you may not be allowed to do too many layers because of your memory whereas when you do the flat one it's less memory because it's on one layer so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please click that like and subscribe and have a great day thank you so much bye